just because I want to do this. I haven't done this for a while. Um, excuse me, sir. Would you mind just... You might enjoy having one of those, sir. Okay, everybody down. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperial Reforged Eden. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and we're still in the Syndicate Club because someone had pointed out behind this green door there were indeed a uh, um, excuse me flashlights, lights, please. A couple of loot containers I had missed. Now, how I get to them, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, uh, this way, I think. Maybe, possibly. Um, what if I turn this on and sort of squeeze that way? Yep, there we go. So there's access to some cargo containers around the back here. With, wow. A slightly disappointing flux coil and a few bits there. But yeah, there's some more here. That looks like an ultra rare. There we go. A couple of auto miners right there. So that was there. But there did appear to be another container just. Down, oh god, just down here. I'm not sure if I can shoot my way through there. Let's have a go a second. See if it will. Um, apparently not. Let's have a quick check here to see if there's any way. That slope is not damaged. Generally, what? Ah, I see. I have to squeeze up through there, and there we go. And here we have some Arrestrum for our trouble, which we'll chuck into the dump box for now. There we go. And that is it, I believe. So yeah, just wanted to show that because that was something I'd missed last time. So this is up in the management office, up here in the Syndicate Casino. So there was a few bits there I missed. Thankfully, it was pointed out in the comments. Um, apologies, I can't remember who pointed it out, but if I remember, I'll stick the comment up on screen. But thank you very much. Now, on with today's show. So while I was still here in Sector, um, the Syndicate outpost is over there somewhere. I decided that maybe I could have a go at one of these smuggler outposts. It's been a while since I took on such a thing. Now, I don't remember that I thought there were many guns here, but I don't actually see many guns here at all. In fact, I cracked out the soul piercer to have a sort of pop at it, but there is not a lot here. My only worry is that it will call in ships or something. I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, it used to be a thing. I'm not, ha I'm not having it call in ships at the moment, of course. So, could be fine. But there is part of me that's a little bit nervous. And would actually, if we've got this, I'm going to bring the main ship over and just sit it close by so the gun turrets can help out and I'll be ready to grab it if I need to get the hell out of dodge and fast. Okay, with the main ship over here, I don't have an EVA on so I can't stay outside here too long. But we don't seem to be seeing anyone. I mean, I will get cold if I hang around out here too long. I'm just sort of checking out here. Yeah, there we go, getting chilly. If, um, I mean, there are things here. We might have to have a look at this on the way back. 
little ship here. Yeah, we're getting very cold. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Should be warm in here. I should be able to warm back up. Uh, let's get prepared for... Okay, not allowed. Hello? <sighs> uh, you're dead, sir. There we go. We'll get rid of that. Not many pirates here. It seems, at the moment at least. Um, there is a way up there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll just quickly grab whatever's in here. I don't know if this outpost is going to be particularly worth it. But I guess that's why we're here. We'll find out. Um, what we got over this side? Hmm. Okay, well, what I should have done is taken out that sensor. Because that sensor speaks to me of trouble. Okay, one goes down, one goes up. Let's get prepared here. And head up to the next level and see what we've got. Nothing in particular. I guy stood right there letting me know he's about to make trouble let's get rid of that spawn pad sentry turrets currently green so I don't know if turning them oh hello on is a terrible idea oh hello I just need to reload fella you don't mind standing there for a little bit longer thank you that actually hurt quite a bit Grab your stuff. No one else tucked around the corner here. No. Not allowed. A couple of guys stood there. I mean, this is sentry turrets, but that has a tendency to worry me slightly that what it really means is sentry turrets right behind me. Sentry turrets about to pop out the ceiling or something like that. Um, so, <laughs> with that... I'm going to be a little bit careful. And I'll tell you what, just because I want to do this, I haven't done this for a while. Um, excuse me, sir. Would you mind just. You might enjoy having one of those, sir. Okay, everybody down. We killed a sniper. And sentry turrets, you say? Are we about to meet said sentry turrets? Not yet, at least. Okay, fuel. O2. Uh, sentry turrets. Right, let's see if turning sentry turrets off works here, or if this ends poorly for me. Doesn't seem to say anything. Not shooting at my ship, so that's possibly a good sign. What about this one? Is sentry turret now off? It is. The sentry turret is now off, and that is a core right there. So that is the end of this. There we go. So base is mine. What? Ooh. Oh, that's a new style grab generator. Okay. I'm fine with that. Um, let's quickly chuck down into the dump. Where's the dump box, please? Uh, dump box, yes, you have a core in you. And we'll go around and grab some bits here as we go. But we still have to deal with whatever's downstairs, so let's link ourselves up to the dump box. 
We'll take the generators, but we'll deconstruct them. We'll take the grav gen, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll take that. I've not seen any loot boxes per se. Oxygen, bit of O2. I'll do. We'll take that. Fuel, and I see a loot container. And I thought I heard footsteps actually. A little bit concerning. But there was a loot container right there. A few basic bits. What I could really do with at the moment, other than plastic, which we all know I need plastic because I've mentioned it like every single episode. Um, so other than plastic, what I need is going to be a restroom and Zascosium. They're the things I still I, I still really need. Pretty much everything else I'm pretty good on. Um, let's just ah that was good to know. I'm glad I turned the turrets off. Or well, those turrets are off anyway. Oh, oddly pressed the wrong thing there. There was just fuel in that ammo box. That was disappointing. But I'll take the ammo, because why not? It's all useful, at least. I mean, I'm getting a bit of a glut of these ammo boxes. They are kind of useful in some ways, but when you've got about 30 of them, they become slightly less useful. I mean, they're useful when you have, like, sort of low CPU. Right, what do we got here? There are still a bunch of bad guys here. Okay. Two soldiers. And you, sir. Indebted smuggler. Well, you might have been helpful. You might have spoken to me or something. I wasn't prepared to take the chance of you shooting me, me in the face. Sorry, bud. You just got killed. It was just necessary. Um, I will take your pizza and I'm going to eat your cereal too. Because I can. We're cold? Why are we cold? How are we open to space here? I mean, we've got to be open to space if we're cold. Um... Oh, I know why. Because the base is off. So we're actually... That should actually warm us up very briefly. Not sure why the shower still works, given the fact that... Well, I, I did put a core in, but I did also take all the power. Uh-oh, sorry. Ow! Oh, that really hurt. Ow, ow. <sighs> okay. Any more bastards looking to surprise me? Uh, nothing much exciting. Nothing much exciting. Back to being cold. Oh, wrong button. And up here. Jet packet, I guess. There's a purple jobby there. I'm wondering if... Uh, I, I'm now going to look at all of these the same way and wonder if there's something there. Trapdoor. 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 Right, uh, while we're back here... Yeah, because that's going to happen. It's nice, it's fine. Right, so through here, aha, yellow loot container, neodymium. Hmm, slightly disappointing. I really need a restroom as a scosium. I mean, it's fine picking them up from those bases before, like I was, but you're not not picking up vast amounts. 
I really need to be picking up a lot. Oh, I've taken my source of heat. Okay, yeah, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I'm going to have to go. I'm just checking here to see if there's a loot container, which there is not. There's just a weird sort of dodgy block. And wow, I am freezing my balls off. Okay, we're going to just go in and warm up a second. Hang on, I, I have a solution for this. How's this? Surely this will cure my frostbite. You know, we, we're the other way to frostbite now, no? So if we go here, we should get hot a second. There you go. Yeah, we're starting to get heat stroke. Yep, good, good, good. We're hot, we're hot, we're hot. Now we're sick with other problems. Fantastic. I'm sure this is perfectly fine. No medical professional would obviously advise against heating yourself to like 60 degrees and then dropping yourself down to like minus 60. Couldn't possibly lead to bad implications. Right, I'm going to grab the rest of this and heal myself up. If I find anything particularly exciting, I will let you know. Okay, so we're all healed up, all ready to go. And yeah, wasn't a lot of excitement there. So, where to now? I think we're pretty done with this sector. I keep wondering whether this hidden, like, Project Eden map material is perhaps plastic but so far I haven't found any in any of the sectors I've sort of looked at. I have been around these sectors I and mean, here this is a mining site it says mining asteroids claimed by a faction is considered an act of an act of war yeah okay We'll have a quick look here. Hopefully we won't run into anything terrifying, but we'll have a quick look here because this just says Project Eden material. So we'll have a quick look before we disappear off. Okay, so we're here. We have a class one mining site. It says too much interference, asteroid scan inconclusive, gravimetric anomalies. We're not picking up any essentially like resource things at all so I'm curious to see what's here we're about 8k's out so we'll have a look okay we're getting in range and suddenly a bunch of asteroids have sort of appeared close by now it doesn't show that this is claimed by anyone so what we've got oh we do have something red here so whether something is going to shoot at us in a second. We have iron, aluminium and magnesium. None of which are hugely useful to me, I'll be honest. And there is nothing else here. I mean, if I needed some of these resources, it would be great. But I really don't. I mean, I've got tons of iron, got loads of magnesium and aluminium. We're pretty good on aluminium powder. I mean, possibly might need some, but I'm in no hurry for it. So I'm just going to move on and see if I can find a UC um, location because we've got some researching that needs doing. Okay, so here we are around Danto Fast. I liked it just because it was called Danto Fast. There's a warp rift ar arrival point yet. Yeah, okay, we know. What about the system itself? Holy crap. Okay. This is. Okay, this is Xerax owned mining territory with at least a Zascosium which might be worth trying to pick some off. What else have we got here? So there's Neodymium, 
Mornio. Mornio. This is obviously just in orbit of these at the moment, so we'll just have a look at what we've got. Anything particularly exciting? Um, again, this is this is orbit, and this seems to be Polaris owned. Hmm. Nothing particularly out there. I, mean, I think we're actually friendly with Polaris now. Can we mine in Polaris space? I'm not sure. What about planet-wise? Is there any planet that, that at least says it has, you know, carbon, graphite, or something deposits of those na of that nature? No. I mean, if it if it's all a bust, I mean, this is a nascent. Hmm. This is a lava nascent planet. Now they are very serious on the gravity. I'm not sure we'll be able to deal with that. See a nascent moon, I think we can deal with. Even if it is hard. You know, we, we should be able to deal with it. As long as we can get close. I mean, this is a combat site, so that's going to be awful. Right, I think the way to go here is going to be... Let's see, bring that one back across to there. Yeah, we'll probably go to this nascent moon, see if we can pick up... Hmm... I'm going to, I'm just going to hop on. Okay, so we jumped on to what I'm going to call Lech Teru. Um, and looking around here, again, I don't see anything. We'll probably have a look in this asteroid field. But here in orbit, we seem to have a hint of some Zascosium. So that sounds interesting. We've got increased military and rare ore bandits, pirate wreckage to see civilians, common ores. So this could be a bit rough, but hopefully we'll be able to pick something up. Um, there's not much on the actual planet by the scenes of it. So we're going to give it a go. And we're going to, you know, if we got to bug out, we got to bug out. But hopefully this will give us an opportunity to at least get the Zascosium and then we'll have to look for because I thought this would be a cold because it's a red star but it's saying hot so I guess I had holy shit it the wrong way round pirate smuggler hideout there are a lot of red heat signatures here Yeah, there are a lot of red heat signatures here. Okay, let's keep moving for one and see if we can find at least. At least something we would like to lay our hands on without getting too close to something that's going to destroy us. Okay, I've got to ask, what is a claimable asteroid? A claimable asteroid came up. What is a claimable asteroid? I mean, not that I can probably defend a claimable asteroid. But answers in the comments, what's a claimable asteroid? Now, I think I've got some drones chasing me somewhere. Um... I think they're all those of about three clicks out. So we should be fine. Um, the drones probably will come through, but hopefully the turrets will deal with those. Not picking up anything that actually makes me think like actual CV destroyer coming my way yet. We seem to have, be away from all those sorts of signatures. 
and we're close enough now to this Ascozy Mallot asteroid that we'll be able to get basically a big wodge of Saskosium. So I'm going to see if I can uh, collect a bunch of this before we get too much trouble. So I get a bit close and probably, wow, can't see squat, but there you go. So the way to go is again just to go here and drill turret. Which, if we go there, we can access. And there we go. That's just pumping in the Zascosium. Yeah, there is a bunch of interceptors here. I just thought I'd bring it to, to show you. I believe my turrets are on. I don't know. Oh no, turrets and weapons are off. I ought to turn those on. I don't know how I turn my tur turrets off. But there we go. Let's turn the turrets on. I'll get rid of a, bun a, a bunch of these, which are just basically hovering around out there making pains in the butts of themselves. But as you see, we've already picked some off and our shields are basically untouched. So I don't imagine it being a big problem for us to take the rest of those down. I don't think we're going to end up in any, any major difficulties. Well, it's time to leave. I've just noticed we're getting hit by something a bit more serious. I heard the combat music coming in and yet yeah, we are getting tagged by something a bit more serious. I didn't see what it was, but yeah, it's a Perrier class frigate. I think we need to be off. I don't think that will be too much of a problem because if I check the older harvest container, I'm pretty sure that we got, yeah, we've got over 2000 Zascosium. That will be enough for what I need for now. So that will leave me able to move on. And we'll check out this asteroid field. That'll be our next port of call. Okay, so there's a lot of Zurak ships here in this sector, that's for sure. And some wreckage, a Polaris ship. And I don't know, not a lot else. Iron Cobalt, too much in interference to get a conclusive scan on asteroids again. I don't know if flying through the middle of the asteroid field would be helpful. I'm a little bit sketchy about doing that here because there's a lot of ships around and that would mean flying towards them basically. Okay, we'll go through we'll go for the run through the middle. See if we can find anything. Uh, apparently a magnesium asteroid, wherever that was. I don't know where we found a magnesium asteroid. Doesn't even show up on the map here. Copper, neodymium. Uh, more Neo. I mean, I'm not sure what the Bandit Thief, Bandit Looter, I'm not sure how tough those ships are. Um, Pirate Black Market. I'm guessing I can't really get on, get on the Black Market to trade with them given the fact they probably hate me and a lot of these ships might come after me I'm not feeling tough enough to try and take one on really at the moment I don't know if bandit pillagers and all that are are weak or strong or what we seem to have blasted through and found most of the asteroids there And, and we're getting some comms traffic but we haven't found anything there that really excites nothing that's gonna really do it for us okay and on to a new system with some 
interesting orbits to say the least. Oh, sovereignty Polaris. Can, am I friendly enough with the Polaris to mine in their territory now? I am friendly with them. Can I mine in them? Mining in, mining ore in Polaris Mega Megacorp territory on planets. Mining asteroids owned by Polaris Megacorps is always forbidden. Damn it. And you need to be honoured and we're not honoured. Okay, so mining with the Polaris not going to happen. Which is a shame. This is ice, I suspect. Yeah. What have we got here? Class C mining site claimed by Polaris. And that has something. So again, if we just look around, we'll try and see if there's anywhere in orbits. I mean, there's another syndicate base. I'm not going to keep doing syndicate bases because it does seem like an awfully good way to get materials. Or, well, not really materials, but credits. Get vast numbers of credits. But there's nothing here that ever shows up as the plastic I would like to find. And if we run through these again, it never actually seems to show up as a, vi you know, a viable ore on any of the planets, which is a little bit disappointing. I mean, that planet apparently has no ore at all. It is a dead world. So that temperate planet, which is large, does have a restroom, which might be worth going down and visiting. Okay, so we've got a few asteroids, an abandoned shipping pallet, which might be interesting. Polaris Mining Hub. A few interesting things about Colonist Trading Post, which it might be interesting to visit the Colonist Trading Post just because it is supposed to vary what you get from each faction. So, hmm. Knowing what what they trade in might be useful. I could also, of course, as I now have quite a bit of money, I could always pay to get the Soul Piercer repaired, which might not be a terrible idea because it could do with some repairs. All right, straight away, medium iron deposit. Right, we're going to have a bit of a fly around and a bit of mapping. This looks like a nice planet. I mean, worst comes the worst. Here's something I could do. It's going to be fairly painful. But I could always drill a bunch of this rock, munch a bunch of trees and turn it all into plastic. That could work. It'd be slow and painful. I look. I like this zone. It it looks like areas where there was like burn back or something, and then the forest is recovering. There's a few. There's clearly a few. Um, was it legacy POIs here as well? So at the moment, I'm just randomly flying around. I'm going to go over this legacy POI and we'll see what that is. Okay, Black Cult Harvest Outpost. You say what now? It's got some Xerox drones around it. It even appears to be shooting those Xerox drones. Uh, uh, well, I appear to be shooting something. Um, I'm shooting the drones, hopefully. I might be shooting the whole lot at the moment. Should probably back off a little. Hmm. Because they seem to be shooting the drones as much as anything else here. 
think we might have to have a look at that. I can't really tell much about it from here. But I'm definitely, definitely intrigued. So I think we'll take a landing spot and see if we can get the soul piercer out and get a little bit closer. And see if they've got anything of interest. There's a reasonable landing spot here. I still think we might be a little bit close. So let's back off a little bit. Okay, we'll park just over here. That puts us back click away. We should be out of range of all guns at that range. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, find out what this base is all about. Uh, and see if we... Oh, hello. No actual shields by the looks of it. Some weapons. They don't appear to be super... Well, don't appear to be super high damage, at least. They do a bit if they're uh, hitting my shields, but not mega amounts. That can keep me dodge up. It's all right. Really, I didn't take that. Did I not take that one out? I still didn't take that one out. That is less than I thought, and I'm running out of actual rounds here. Did I at least get rid of that turret? No, I didn't. Still. Okay. Let's get... Is that turret gone? Okay, that turret is gone. It just looked like it's still there. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and get some more rounds because, unfortunately, I did not check before I took off that I had enough rounds. Okay, I haven't got super numbers, but hopefully that will be enough for the job. So we'll come in, get rid of this cannon, because that should hopefully be the end of that one. Take that one out. Oh, that was a bit of a whiff there on that side. And come on. And that's it. And the area is clear. But are the Black Colt a faction? I'm going to check a second just to see whether factions. Nothing's come up about it being a faction. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Uh, is there anything interesting around here? Do we hear interesting noises? We do hear some slightly interesting noises around here. Okay. Um, I'm hearing like Xeraxian burbling. Oh yeah. Laser Xerax. Yep, yep, they're definitely unfriendly. Yep, oh, ow. Okay, you're moving quite fast, my man. Yeah, you are moving pretty quick. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, another sniper for the list. I was not expecting you. There seems to be more people in here. That's a small thruster. I was like, I wonder what that is. Thought it was some sort of weird teleporter. Um. But we're going to have to go into... Hello. Thank you for not getting in the way too much. We're going to have to go in and take this place out. But um, i got to be honest. I think we're running short of time for that in this episode. So while I may be cutting this one a bit short, um, I'm going to leave it for next time. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time. Thanks a lot.